News at Noon starts now. And good afternoon. I'm Anne Marie Tiernan in for Scott Swan this noon. You're watching Eyewitness News at noon today. And we start today with a story that is developing over the weekend in Ferguson. The Missouri National Guard now being called in to handle the growing crowd of protesters there after yet another violent night of protests in Ferguson. The clashes there are continuing after a police officer fatally shot a teen who was not armed. NBC Sarah Dolloff is in Ferguson now and joins us with the very latest developments. National Guard troops are expected to be on the ground in Ferguson, Missouri today. Their arrival following the most intense night of violence and confrontation in the St. Louis suburb yet. Molotov cocktails were thrown. There were shootings, looting, vandalism, and other acts of violence that clearly appear not to have been spontaneous or premeditated criminal acts. Shocking images on city streets began hours before the midnight curfew. Reports of eight gunmen and two injured in civilian shootings. Employees of a McDonald's barricaded inside. And the police command unit under siege hit with Molotov cocktails. SWAT teams and tactical units responded with tear gas to clear the chaos. The long night came on the heels of the release of a preliminary private autopsy report showing unarmed 18-year-old Michael Brown was shot at least six times, including twice in the head. The report was commissioned by Brown's family. What does this preliminary autopsy tell us? It verifies that the witness accounts were true, that he was shot multiple times. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder has also ordered a federal autopsy on Brown. The teenager's death remaining a rallying cry for those who vow to be out for another round of protests tonight. Schools in this district and two neighboring districts have canceled classes today in the wake of the unrest. 